they're asserting themselves. Trot, Manzi, and uh, Moran. Manzi's kick. Within 10 yards of the sticks, and the mark is taken by Jenkins. How many is that for the day? That's his sixth mark, and he's had nine kicks. Jenkins, in defense for the Magpie team. They're kicking to the outer goal, but a long way from this point to there. And it's his free kick. Penalty against Wallace, hanging onto it for too long. The ball into the goal square almost. Jenkins and Hug don't know whose kick it is. Hug points to Jenkins. Jenkins points to Hug, but eventually it's Jenkins. Collingwood, two goals, 19, 31. St Kilda, nine goals, 6, 60. Ten minutes into the final quarter. But he was too long. He's in, in a bad position. Get the ball up the ground. 11 minutes into the last quarter. And there's a good mark taken down there by Jenkins, who's burning in the last ten minutes of play. That's his eighth mark. Jenkins, up back flank. Straight down the centre. They've got to use the direct approach. To Bounce up on the centre wing on the Collingwood member's side. Jenkins, beautiful knockaway. Oh, as good as a stab pass. Onto the half forward line. Jenkins knocks it down beautifully. Chance for Tully. She's been quiet. Tully's kicked it down towards the full forward position. And in for but eight this quarter. The There's a throw in on the half forward line. O'Donnell against Jenkins. Jenkins wins it again. It's out towards Richardson. Richardson's had a bundle of kicks. He's had wide towards the outer side of the ground. That's the scoreboard side. His brother is off the field. He was injured earlier in play. The ball is kicked to the centre wing, and that's a beautiful mark to Jenkins. Very good in the air ever since he made his debut with Collingwood, which was a sensational effort in itself. Here he is from the centre of the ground. Drop kick, spinning nicely. Should be easy to mark if they can get a clean pair of hands to it. Wayne Richardson off the front of the pack. Mack shot at the sticks. Not too flat happy. Beautiful kick. That, that was rovering for perfection. I'd like to see Richardson do a little bit more of that. He took that ball off the off the hands of the pack in a magnificent manner, and it was an excellent goal. This is 20 minutes ago, St Kilda still leads by 21 points. It's 21 points their advantage, and Mark to Jenkins all the way. Two good aerialists, and Jenkins and Minot flying against each other, and the black and whites took the verdict. Here's Jenkins' kick, coming back in towards the goal square, should be into the... Picked it up beautifully with one hand, Potter's on his hammer, though. And Breen is caught with the ball, comes out here towards Jenkins. Jenkins kicks it down, Wayne Richardson has got it. Well, hand pass it here across to Urquhart. Urquhart kicks it down towards the half-forward line. Davis is there and Tully. Hand pass, way over there towards Bonnie, who's miles out in his own. Max Richardson left him unattended. The kick is going, oh, boy. With all the time in the world to place the kick properly, he holed out to Jenkins of Collingwood. There's Jenkins, kick high in the air. One to nine. Collingwood coming back at St Kilda with uh, Jenkins winning the ball. Comes off hands and goes to Price. Price is pushed on his way there by Kevin Roberts, but wins the kick. Keeps on balance. The ball is onto the half-forward line. Interesting duel coming up here. Looks like Collingwood in front. Max Pitt tackles uh, Pitt too, too late, and the ball has gone here onto the half-forward line where Wayne Richardson made good position. Five and Kilda. Number 26, Doggy Rowland's old Guernsey. Max Pitt for the St Kilda team to the centre wing. Green behind, couldn't take that mark against Jenkins. Lost it out of Jenkins' hand. In fact, it's his free kick. Well, it's his mark. 14, 10, 12, 13. Nine points. Separate the sides. Collingwood gradually hasn't been easy bridging the gap. Half forward line. O'Donnell disputing possession there, but it's uh, it's uh, McKenna's mark. Dunn was trying to get away with it. There's his kick towards the lady out here from Graham. The umpire Jeff Crouch, the league's leading umpire. A perfect bounce in the center, and the ruckman fly and plucking it out of the air with Jenkins. Give it to Whedon. Whedon grabs. Keeps on going, however. A game little customer dropped it, took his eyes off it for a fraction. A fundamental rule is broken. The ball is tucked over there, cleverly by him finally, towards Greening. Greening a star against Carlton onto the half-forward line, and he finds a man. Good play. This is Jeff Pitts. Pitts is on the centre center of the ground, towards the centre wing, kicking the ball over here onto the half-forward line. It's to Wayne Richardson. Richardson has tackled for the ball, has his head pulled up. It's his free kick. Oh. And one of the... What's wrong, killer? I was going to say, don't do that. It, there's no future in it. <laughs> the first Flemish in Evans' record since he's been on the ground. Yes, we can't blame him for one of those. He's been a great player. Wayne Richardson having his 15th kick for the game. Will kick it well up into the goal square. The big fellas for Collingwood. There's a good kick down towards ten and a half wide. Looking for Breen. Green is outmaneuvered by Potter Jenkins coming into the game. Good player Jenkins for Collingwood today. Up towards ten and a half forward. The ball is knocked away by Graham from this and kill the players. In they go. It goes across the pit. Pitt has a cross. Shot for goal. Picked up by Trot. 
shot on the move, a scouting player, one of the best for the Saints. Kick to the centre wing, Jenkins good mark and does. Hand pass, good play by Collingwood. They get the ball to Greening. Greening a star last week against Dead umpire Crouch blew the whistle. We're 28 and a half minutes into this last quarter, nearly four minutes of time on. Time running out for Collingwood. It goes across to Jenkins from Adamson. Up towards the flank, we see McKenna.